Hi everybody, my name is Mary and today I will be watching Game of Thrones Season 4, Episode 9. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back and if you're new, hi as well. Last episode ended really rough with Oberyn leaving this planet. I think overall I didn't think he was gonna lose. I think I worried for it for a little bit, but I never assumed that he was actually gonna lose and not in that way. So I'm quite in shock still. Also, you expect things like this to happen at the end of the season, not in episode yet. Then I'm like, wait a second, so Tyrion is now, well, he's now guilty. So I'm like, are they gonna behead him now? I feel like you really can't take me Tyrion. I think that would be one of the worst deaths for me. I like his character one of the most in the whole series and I think with the Stark family I loved them because they were such good and nice people but with Tyrion I also just really like almost every interaction that he's in and his wit and that kind of stuff so I'm, I mean, we shall see. I'm gonna get into this one. If you like this reaction, please make sure to like and leave a comment. And if you subscribe, you can see the next ones as well. And if you want to see the full reaction, you can do that over on Patreon, where I post full watch long style videos. I feel like my mic is acting up. I hope that's not gonna happen during the video. Anyway, let's go. Hi everybody, my name is Mary, and today I will be watching Game of Thrones season four, episode nine. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back and if you're new, hi as well. Last episode ended really rough with Oberyn leaving this planet. I think overall I didn't think he was gonna lose. I think I worried for it for a little bit but I never assumed that he was actually gonna lose and not in that way. So I'm quite in shock still. Also you expect things like this to happen at the end of the season, not in episode eight yet. Then I'm like, wait a second, so Tyrion is now, well, he's now guilty. So I'm like, are they gonna behead him now? I feel like you really can't take me Tyrion. I think that would be one of the worst deaths for me. I like his character one of the most in the whole series and I think with the Stark family I loved them because they were such good and nice people but with Tyrion I also just really like almost every interaction that he's in and his wit and that kind of stuff so I'm, I mean, we shall see. I'm gonna get into this one. If you like this reaction, please make sure to like and leave a comment. And if you subscribe, you can see the next ones as well. And if you want to see the full reaction, you can do that over on Patreon, where I post full watch long style videos. I feel like my mic is acting up. I hope that's not gonna happen during the video. Anyway, let's go. What was she like? She had red hair. I want you to tell me what it was like to have someone to be with someone, to love someone and have them love you back. Oh, look at them, standing on that freaking wall. So you and Gilly never? No, she just had a baby. Yeah, John, give her a break. <laughs> and she never offered. But if she had, you'd have broken your vows. Yes. I shall take no wife. Yes, that's in there, there's no denying that. I shall father no children, it's very specific. But what our vows have to say about other activities is open to interpretation. I don't think Sir Alistair cares much for interpretation. But Sam does. Pip! <laughs> open the gate! I can't. Fulton gave me strict orders to not open the gate. Oh, Pip! Open the f gate! Whoa! Wherever you go, I go to. Bring her inside. Food, warmth. <sighs> the Ugh, so creepy. What are they gonna do though? They can do nothing. Except the fact that they have a big wall, but still. You'll be safe down here. I'll check on you as soon as I can. You're leaving me again. You said from now on we'd stay together. I, I didn't mean in the same room. What are you going to do out there? Help my brother. How? Whoa. I am a man of the Night's Watch, Gilly. I made a promise to defend the wall and I have to keep it because that's what men do. I promise you, I won't die. Have you ever seen more innocence than these two together? There's nothing more pure. Let's kill some crawl! Yeah! Yeah! are you sure? No way she's gonna kill him. No way. Oh my god, of course. I feel like I'm in a Lord of the Rings fight. <laughs> Just knock everyone out of 
Or imagine if the person that you love is in that group. He also knows that she could have killed him, right? They're so brave. I honestly would be the worst person at war. I would be like, I'm not a stupid. I'm gonna scream in the front row. You can have that honor. Brothers, a hundred generations have defended this castle. She's never fallen before. She will not fall tonight. They eat the flesh of the men they kill. Do you want to fill the belly of a thin tonight? My God, that wouldn't help me whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Those are giants riding mammoths down there. Do you think your cold roll steel's gonna Come on, stop John, them? take the lead. Fingers, take the lead, John. F him. From the sled. Just got word that Sir Allison needs you below. That's so smart. Not like discussing it or making him pissed off, but like just tricking him. Yes. <laughs> Bye, dude. Giant. Oh my God, that's a I don't want to look at here. A lot of sounds I don't need visuals with. I have enough fantasy to not sleep without the visuals. Oh, that's all. Is that the one that's gonna have that for dinner? Oh, really, dude? <laughs> First thing I want to say is what a loser. I would I would not have done better, right? But still, <laughs> dude. Mr. Weaver's coming. He's gonna make it alright. I think this whole farting thing is so different until you have your friend dying in your arms. I think then it hits like, what am I doing? Why are they not shooting him? Whoa, what a beast. What a hero. Well, listen to me, Ollie. Get me to the top. And when we give a signal, bring us back down. I love the face change that Sam had when he went like to you like the different approach like his face actually changed a lot such an interesting episode right fully wall 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 after what just happened in the other areas yes oh he's gonna be upset -y. Oh! Technical difficulties. What a horrible death! If that thing breaks, you're just like, Whoa! If they try the mammoths again, drop fire on them. If the climbers get too high, drop the scythe on them. I feel like they're all very brave. <laughs> it's true, right? If they're gonna die anyway, they might as well give it their best shot. Father save me. Father save me. The gods are down here. Ah, but it's close again. That's good because at least now it's only one of them. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield. The gods are out of bed. I place my life. I don't let the night's watch. I would like go to the side, let it jump, and then stab it right. I like whoops, and then you go from the side. We need you, boy. I think he's gonna shoot the bold one. If he's not already dead, why is he not dead after that? Can somebody physically survive that? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he smiles. He's gonna do it. Oh no, the kid. Do you remember that cave? We should have stayed in that cave. Oh. oh no. Oh my god, I never even thought about this possibility. 
Oh, and her with all the. I'm gonna pierce his heart with my arrows. And then we should have stayed in a cave. Ah! Whoa. And that blood spat. Oh, that was so not necessary. Well, good job, dude. Egret. Moment, Silva. Put him in chains. What are the arrows in his back? Whoa, it's me. It's me. Promise you didn't, huh? Yeah, what about him? Oh my god, Egret. I think Captain Help the gate. Right. We need to burn the bodies. Oh, that's what you promised. Good job, guys. Raise the outer gate and lower it again as soon as I'm out. John, this is a really stupid plan. You wonder in the last season how many people are still gonna be there that you got connected to because I feel like the interesting thing as well is that you get connected to characters over seasons and seasons and seasons and not just like maybe someone that's new in the next season. I thought that would be like a season eight romance. It was an interesting episode, right? But nothing storyline of the other characters. I'm kind of thinking now if they let this know that like they're being attacked if maybe in King's Landing they might be too busy worrying about this and not killing Tyrion. I think it kind of explains why the last episode was so intense as well because there you had a high moment in the rest of Westeros and here you have this high moment at the wall and it would have been too much to combine those two. I have no clue what we can expect for the next one. Like will they attack again at night? Will the war continue? Will we see? I reckon that we're gonna see more of the other storylines. We still don't know if Arya and Sansa met. I'm gonna jump into the next one. <laughs> I hope you like this reaction. If you did please make sure to like and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to see the next one and as always you can see the full reactions on Patreon. I post full watch along style videos on there of my reactions. Have a good rest of your day and i'll see you soon Bye. hey everybody my name is mary and today i will be watching the game of thrones season 4 finale for the first time let's go Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you do, hi as well. I am such a liar, right? I cannot watch a few episodes of this. Like, I cannot never decide to just do two episodes, I swear. I always do like five in a day. Anyway, season finale. I don't know, I feel like every season finale, you just feel empty as hell. And then I'm like, why do we do this to ourselves? What is the psychology of watching a series that makes you feel sad and empty and you cannot stop watching? And I think maybe it's because you hope for something better and then it's just like ew, ew. <laughs> it just plays with your emotions i'm so sad about egret so sad and i feel like there's never time to actually be sad well maybe because i binge watched the episodes maybe it's just my fault anyway so egret i feel heartbroken about that i don't know i don't know what's gonna come we probably will know a little bit more about Tyrion today i hope he's gonna be fine oh no what if they take him away Nerys was also heartbroken that just starts <laughs> If you like this reaction, make sure to like, leave a comment, and if you want to see the next one, subscribe as well. If you like to see full reactions, I'll post those on Patreon, so you get the full watch long version and not just a chopped up version as here on YouTube. Let's get into this! <laughs> Always, like, when I say that, I'm like, I'm gonna destroy my soul, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> Where's Ghost, by the way? You're wearing a black cloak again. I've been sent to negotiate with you. The thing is, like, why would they, though? Because they're gonna win regardless. If it's not today, then it's gonna be tomorrow. They're in excellent position to not negotiate. The half hand ordered me to join your army and bring back whatever information I could to Castle Black. He made me kill him, so you'd trust me. I was loyal. To him and to my Night's Watch vows. All of your vows. <laughs> anyway. She put three hours in me when I escaped. Did you see her again at Castle Black? Yes. And she's dead. Oh, I have goosebumps. 
god, that stinks so bad, right? He feels literally losing someone that you love in your arms because you come from different worlds. Oh. Of all the ways I'd kill you, poison would be the last. <laughs> Egret. Egret. It's not wine. No, it's a proper northern drink, Jon Snow. It's a proper northern drink. Call back. Can I trouble you for something to eat? I don't imagine our guest has eaten anything for quite some time. Wait, where are the cannibals? Not them, right? It's only the bold guys, right? So it's not like, oh, you're eating your friend. And we both know that winter is coming. And if my people are south of the war when it comes in earnest, we'll all end up worse than dead. Here's the bargain. You go back, you open the gates to us, and I swear to you that no one else will die. God, it seems so reasonable. And we'll kill every last man in Castle Black. Yeah, and then afterwards they will still keep killing Stop. because they're not... Are you capable of that, Jon Snow? Killing a man in his own tent when he's just offered you peace? You're attacking us! No, it's like you said, we don't have the men. It's so weird when your enemy is so reasonable and like, we don't want to kill you, we just also don't want to die, which is perfectly normal. The elves have arrived. Oh, wait. Hold! To me! To me! Lenny! Oh, John, you're in a sucky position. Stand down! I said my people have bled enough. And I meant it. Oh! I didn't expect that. Well, nobody probably, but whoa! Epic walk scene. Even more epic. This is Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of the Seven Kingdoms. We're not in the Seven Kingdoms, and you're not dressed for this weather. <laughs> it is customary to kneel when surrendering to a king. So why are you not kneeling? Is he gonna see? What's a man of the night's watch doing in a wildling camp? I was sent to discuss terms with the king beyond the wall. You're speaking to the one true king boy. I know he's the king. My father died for him. Ned Stark's son. Your father was an honourable man. It's so nice to hear, isn't it? You can save him. Difficult to say, Your Grace. But if my past work is any guide, you stand a chance. Great. You should know. The process may change him. Will it weaken him? Oh, no. Very well, then. And she treats him like a guard dog. Joffrey is dead. Marcel has been sold like livestock, and now you want to ship me off to Highgarden and steal my boy, my last boy. I will burn our house to the ground before I let that happen. And how will you do that? I'll tell everyone the truth. What truth would that be? <gasps> oh, no. You don't know, do you? That Tommen is not... You never believed it. Oh, no. We were right there in front of you, and you didn't see us. One look in the past 20 years. One real look at your own children, and you would have known. Known what? How does he not know? Everything they say is true about Jamie and me. No. Ah, he knew, right? Just the night, yeah. I don't believe you. You have little Lannisters! <laughs> not gonna lie, but I kind of understand why he's in denial. I choose you. Those are words. Yes. Like the ones I just said to Father. I told him. Not great. You told him? I told him I won't marry Loras Tyrell. I told him I'm staying right here with Tommen. With you. I think I'll just accept that. Go and ask him. I don't think he's gonna. I don't want to talk about Tywin Lannister. I don't choose Tywin Lannister. I don't love Tywin Lannister. I love my brother. Still weird. Four seasons. Still weird. I belonged to Master McDowell. I was tutor to his children. I taught them languages and history. They know a great deal about your family because of me. When you took the city, the children begged me not to leave the house. But Master McDowell and I agreed that I must, so I lost my home. I have outfitted mess halls to feed all former slaves and barracks to shelter. I do not mean to offend, Your Grace. I went to one of these places. The young prey on the old. Take what they want and beat us if we resist. My unsullied will make them safe again in short order, my friend. This I promise you. Even if they are safe. 
Who would I be there? Yeah, oh my god, I was just gonna say they lost a sense of purpose. I ask you to let me sell myself back to Master Migdal. You want to return to a man who owned you. When I was saying this a few episodes ago, I was like, yikes, Mary, maybe you need to be careful how you word it. The whole idea of like, maybe some of those slaves don't want to kill their masters and you know, all of that. And here we have it. I will allow you to sign a contract with your former master. It may not cover a period lasting longer than a year. Thank you, Your Grace. The masters will take advantage of this situation. Yeah, now they're gonna pressure everyone in signing the contract. He came from the sky. You're sober. <laughs> Black one. Oh no, the dragon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. My little girl. Oh. What was her name? Zyla, your grace. How old was she? Three. Oh my god. This is gonna be really difficult. Her dragons are just not controllable anymore. She's gonna lock them up. She's actually gonna. Are there not like, this might be super stupid, but tales from the old dragons, what to do with them? It's sad for her, but if they kill little children, it's like if your dog bites children, you also get them on a leash, right? It's an animal. <laughs> oh, oh, difficult. They died protecting men, women and children who will never know their names. It is for us to remember them. Our brothers, we shall never see their like again. It's so many people that we really liked, right? From the nice watch, like three people we've seen since the beginning. We're going to burn the bodies of your dead. Do you want to say any words over them? Words? What kind of words? Funeral words. I don't know how the free folk do it. Do what? Say farewell. Did you love her? Yes. She loved you. She told you? No. All she ever talked about was killing you. That's how I know. Oh no. Really? I feel like I never get 10 seconds to completely get consumed by that sadness like bomb next scene. Oh, we haven't seen them for a while. We can stop. We can rest. I feel like we haven't seen them in like five episodes. Oh, great. One ray of sunlight and then immediately full clouds again. Oh my god, no! Uh, no! <laughs> Not a great situation. Can the wolf not help too? There you go. Good dog. Come with me, Brandon Stark. What's going on? God, I was. Um. They cannot follow us. The power that moves them is powerless here. Come, he waits for you. As long as there's not a big spider and he scaves up. <laughs> You're the three eyed raven. I've been many things. My brother, he led us to you, and now he. He knew what would happen. From the moment he left. Oh my god. I didn't want anyone to die for me. He died so you could find what you have lost. You're going to help me walk again. You'll never walk oh. again. Shut through his dreams. But you will fly. What? Not bad. Podrick. Where are the horses? Oh no. I hobbled them last night. Figure eight, like you taught me. If you did it like I taught you, then the horses would be here. Whoa, she's... Is. I hope it's not actually his fault. Seven blessings. I'm Brienne of Tarth. This is Podrick Payne. They know now, right? You want something? I send Oak again. 
found. Aria. Dim, dim, dim. You're Arya Stark. I swore to your mother I would bring you home to her. My mother's dead. I know. I wish I could have been there to protect her. I swore to your mother by the old I don't care what you swore. Arya! You had the girl. Come with me, Arya. I'll take you to safety. Safety? There's no safety, you dumb bitch. Don't fight. You guys know. You're all the good guys. How did this happen? How did this situation happen? Oh, this pisses me off. It's not that we constantly already lose good people. Other good guys are gonna fight each other because they have no clue. Just tell the story. Your mommy wanted Jamie somewhere to trade you, so I kept him safe. He was grateful. Now he sent me off to save you. Yeah, of course. So many questions. Please don't kill him. I have no wish to kill you, sir. Now he's gonna be like, you should have. I'm not a knight. <laughs> Yeah, now, now what? Where is she? Of course she ran off. You still here? <laughs> oh, that was very broken. You're gonna die. Unless there's a maze to hide behind that rock. I... I'm done. I think she's gonna finish it, right? Going in alone. You won't last a day out there. I'll last longer than you. Oh. What if she just walks away now, just like, bye? Do I have to beg you? <laughs> do it. Oh, come on. He also, like, he didn't do anything to Sansa. He actually helped her quite a bit. She's just gonna walk away. Kill me. Kill me! Oof. Oh, get on with it, you son of a whore. Is that any way to speak about her mother? <laughs> Who's helping you? Ferris. Ferris? You have more friends than you thought. He said he wouldn't forget, and he didn't. I suppose this is goodbye then. Bye. Oh. Farewell, little brother. It's so interesting how he feels his connection to Cersei, right? Because their morals are like this. They're completely like... And this is not a small disagreement, right? Do we kill our brother or not? Because we think he killed our son or not. Like. Oh god, I'm so scared. Oh no, he's gonna. No. Oh no, come on. Just, just go, dude. <gasps> Tywin. No. My lion. No. Oh my god. I am so naive. Oh no, just go! What about just saving your life? All the revenge. Oh, oh. Tyrion. Oh my god. Uh, your brother, I expect, he always had a soft spot yeah, for you. Yeah, why did you not have a soft spot for him? No, we'll go and talk in my chambers. All then. my life. You've wanted me dead. Yes, but you refused to die. How can you say that? What a monster. You're a Lannister. You're my son. Yeah, now he is suddenly. I loved her. Who? Shay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not the right answer. It was a whore. Not the right answer. Say that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? He's gonna shoot him. He's dead. And you sentenced me to die. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey. Enough. We'll go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back there. She's in there. Well, are you afraid of a dead whore? <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna do it again. You're no son of mine. I am your son. Oh. I have always been oh, your that's... son. That's actually a good line because it just shows it, right? It's the whole you're my son whenever it pleases me. And then he's like, no, mother effer, I'm your son regardless. Oh, that I wish it was so serious. <laughs> he's, he's done. Fed up. 
there must be a reason though why is the reason just because he saved everybody and he didn't forget like and Varys didn't forget or is there another because I like always with Littlefinger and with Varys I'm like there's not just any reason Littlefinger it was revenge and not a tactical thing I want to see the captain you're seeing him I want to go north I could work scrubbing the floors I'm not of... going north child I'm going home where's home the free city of Bravos. Palarborgolis. The difference. It's not silver. It's iron. Yes. <laughs> How did you? Palarborgolis. How do I this? forgot about that. I feel like it's a really good season ending because if you think about the characters, but most of them you're like, I wonder what they're gonna do. I wonder what they're gonna do. What are they? Like Tyrion, what's he gonna do? Varys, Littlefinger, Sansa, Arya, Jamie, Cersei, Brienne at the wall. Did she fake it? I cannot believe that because she could have left earlier. The thing with Tyrion and Tyrion. Tywin and my lion is just the difficulty what I have with this series is that because I'm so late with this this is a moment where I want to discuss this with all my friends because surely you miss a lot by watching by yourself especially the first time like there's no way that I like maybe I should know more at this point but I cannot speak about it with anyone because there's no way they're not gonna spoil so now I'm just sitting here like Shay what the hell <laughs> that Tyrion thing is also something right because you see someone who's always just calculated and he of course protects her out of emotion but this like killing her with his bare hands and then shooting his father it's so like seeing someone who's just done but i'm also still a bit in shock because i don't link his character to this behavior and you might be like oh well but like they really screwed him over right she really stepped on his heart and his dad was really an asshole to him but then i'm like a lot of people hearts get broken right in the most awful way i feel like what i've come to the conclusion in the last few episodes that i think i might focus a lot on recording game of thrones is in the next few weeks because i feel like i get way more into the story if i immediately watch them closely together instead of like between season three and four i had a lot of time which was of course like because of exams and stuff but still and i think i want to really focus on game of thrones now so we might see many days like today where i like record a bunch of episodes but i'm so sucked into it right now and i don't want to lose that connection to that world again and so much has happened so i also don't want to forget about that oh egret <laughs> And I also want to start speaking about it with you guys because I now I'm reading comments from episodes and episodes and episodes ago and you guys at that point don't know yet what I already know and I want to chime in in the conversation you know so I think I might focus on recording a lot of Game of Thrones in the next couple of weeks and then start releasing them maybe a bit quicker we shall see about that but anyway so I can just full on talk about it without the risk of spoilers because so far you don't notice at this point but I've been really spoiler free which I I think it's been a blessing so yeah thank you so much i hope you liked this reaction i will see you soon in the next one if you liked it please leave a comment i have two big questions about this first of all what's the story behind Arya leaving him to die is it like although you saved me you're still a horrible person something like that because i kind of feel like he could have done much worse things to her or did he just not do it because then he wouldn't get ransom i don't know i i felt that ending was a bit like oh come on and then about she i'm just what the hell anyway leave a comment what the hell happened with she <laughs> and i'll see you in the next one full reactions as always are available on patreon it's a full watch along style reaction and not just a drop top version as it is on here so if you want to see that you can do that over there sorry that i rambled on i'm empty inside again <laughs> but i think it's normal after season finale i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you soon bye